Hi guys. So today I want to tell you the story of Lagba Omer like we did in Zoom this past week because Lagba Omer is coming up on Monday. So a long time ago, a long time ago, there was a rabbi named Rabbi Akiva. Hello, I'm Rabbi Akiva. And he had many, many students that he taught. Just like we go to school and we're your teachers and you're our students, Rabbi Akiva also had lots of students. Okay, guys, are you ready for school to start? Yeah, okay. I want to learn about the Torah. But do you guys know what? The students and the friends at school, they weren't very nice to each other. Mm. I mean, I don't want to be your friend. Mm, I don't want to be your friend. And they were not respectful. Respect is when you show kindness and helpfulness to someone else. But these friends did not respect one another and they were very mean and it was not nice. So God said, I'm going to send a plague and make you all very sick. Oh. We're all very sick now. But on the day after many days that all the students started to feel better, it was Lagba Omer. And there was no one sick anymore. And so they were all happy because they learned their lesson. And that was one reason why we celebrate. Well, the other reason is about another rabbi who was a student of Akiva, Rabbi Shimon. Now, Rabbi Shimon loved studying the Torah. Oh, I love studying the Torah and learning about God because I'm Jewish and I love God and all of my friends and family. But there were these mean Romans that came to Israel and they said, you can't study the Torah anymore or we're going to hurt you. That's not nice, right, guys? So Rabbi Shimon said, oh, no, I don't want to get hurt. I have to run away and hide. So he ran away and he took his son. And guess where they went? They went to hide in a cave. Do you guys see the cave behind me? So there's Rabbi Shimon and his son. And they stayed in the cave to hide from the mean Romans. They stayed there for 13 years. That's a really long time. Well, after 13 years, they finally got to come out because all of the mean Romans were gone. The mean Roman leader was gone and they were so happy because they could learn about the Torah and celebrate together. Yay! Torah, 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 Siva Lanu Moshe. So that is the second story and another reason why we celebrate Lag Omer. And just like Rabbi Shimon and his son that were in the cave, we celebrate Lag Omer by lighting a bonfire. Do you guys see this bonfire behind me? So we like to celebrate by camping, lighting bonfires, dancing and singing around the bonfire and making yummy snacks in them. And then one of them that you learned about this week with teacher Tomasa, which is my favorite campfire snack, are s'mores. These are s'mores. They have graham cracker on top, gooey marshmallow from the fire in the middle with a big piece of chocolate. So these are just some of the fun things that we can do to celebrate Lagba Omer because at the end, Rabbi Shimon got to come back and teach all of the Jewish people about the Torah and they didn't have to be afraid anymore. And also all of Rabbi Akiva's students, they stopped getting sick because they learned their lesson. They learned that they can't be mean. They have to be respectful and friendly to one another. Just like we're all respectful and friendly to each other at school, right? <laughs>